Ladies and gentlemen, you've been waiting for it, and it is almost here. That's right, the sequel to Jedi Fallen Order, Jedi Survivor, is coming out real soon. If you've been anticipating jumping back in as Cal Kestis to continue his story, then you are in luck because we're almost there. So I've compiled a list of what I believe to be all the essential things that you need to know about Star Wars Jedi Survivor so you're ready to jump back into the action. Welcome everybody to the Lumberzack Gaming Channel, your place for friendly, quality gaming content. From enemies to areas to upgrades to different types of fighting styles, we're gonna be going down this list, so make sure to stick around till the end so you don't miss a thing. And that being said, let's go ahead and dive on into it. For those of you that love a good time jump, it has been five years since the events of Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. Which, quick spoiler warning if you haven't finished Fallen Order, concluded with Cal Kestis sacrificing the chance to rebuild the Jedi Order to keep force sensitive children safe from the Empire. It's already been confirmed that there are going to be a lot darker tones in this movie, considering that Cal at this point is basically just trying to survive, hence the title Star Wars Jedi Survivor. It seems like the underlying theme of this game is how far is Cal willing to go to protect his family and his friends and those that he loves around him. Now, if you've got a good eye, you can see in a lot of these trailers that we have some familiar looking locations and some brand new ones as well. One of the things that we can see is the beautiful, ever flourishing Coruscant where, you know, nothing bad ever happens there. But one of the shots that we get the most of already in the trailers is a planet called Kobo. Kobo looks like a very desolate type of place, however, with some greenery in it. And one of the things we saw in one of the most recent trailers is the fact that there are like these sky areas that you can go into as well. The development team has said that this game is going to be a lot more massive in size than its predecessor. We can expect a lot more areas to explore, some new secrets to uncover, and just a more spacious playground in which we can run around and, you know, whack people with our lightsabers. I don't I don't know if that was the right term. Now, obviously, these aren't the only areas that we're going to be going to. However, these are the ones we've seen the most of or at least have been confirmed for the game. Now from the very get go, from the very earliest trailers, we have seen a person that is chilling out in a back to tank. And so we have a little bit more information, but there's still a lot of mystery surrounding this character. It is confirmed that this character is slash was a Jedi. However, he's not too happy with the state of things right now. I mean, rightfully so, but you know. However, we have some sort of confirmation that he is a Jedi from the High Republic we don't know who he is. We don't know how long he's been asleep in the back to tank. However, we do know that he blames Cal for the state of the empire and how it looks right now. It is clear that a lot of this story is probably going to be wrapped up in this mysterious Jedi character. And when it comes to the enemies that we know that we're gonna be fighting, we have a pretty decent list so far, and I'm sure it's definitely not an exclusive list. During our time throughout our space exploration, we can expect to come across scout troopers, riot scout troopers, IG-100 Magna Guards, Stormtroopers, KX Security Droids, the BX Commando Droid, Heavy Weapon Stormtroopers, B-1 Battle Droids, B-2 Super Battle Droids, and DT Sentry Droids. That's a lot of droids and troopers that we're going to be fighting. And for one of the things that I'm really excited for, and I know a lot of other people will be really excited for, and probably didn't expect coming from the fact that Star Wars is now part of Disney, is there is some dismemberment. I know, you sick freaks. Just kidding, I wanted it to. For those of you guys that felt like you were walking around hitting people with a wet noodle and not really a lightsaber, while it may not happen all the time, and it may be more specifically for finishers, there will be some dismemberment in this game, and not just of robots. We've also seen some footage of this very intimidating looking guy, Ravis. Ravis? Ravis. I think it's Ravis. And after a lot of speculations from the first couple trailers, we have confirmed that Ravis is a Jendai. Now, if you don't know what a Jendai is, it's okay. I had to look it up too. A Jendai is nearly invincible. They're described as having incredible physical resistance and regenerati rege regenerative, regenerative abilities. No vital organs. They can regenerate limbs and they are thousands of years old. Essentially, they're like impossible to kill. And unfortunately, he's not on your side. Seems like the odds, the odds. It seems like the odds are stacked against us pretty highly, but we've got some new things too. So let's talk about that. Do me a favor. If you found this video to be helpful so far, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe. As a single father of one, it's tough.
tough out there. One of the new tools in our tool belt is an ascension cable. And if you're like me, I mean, it's a grappling hook. And again, I just always say, who doesn't love a good grappling hook? This is definitely to help us with climbing, going long distances, and is going to add another element of our scaling abilities, the verticality in the game, and exploration. This time around, we'll also be able to find, tame, and ride certain mounts. We've not really gotten the opportunity to see a lot of them yet. However, we have seen this one on Kobo that we're gonna be able to ride around. With the areas being a lot more open, I'm gonna have a lot of fun with this one. Now, like I said, it's been five years since the events of Jedi Fallen Order, so naturally, you would assume that Cal's gotten a little bit better at what he does, and you would be right. It's been confirmed that we are going to have a total of five combat stances in Star Wars Jedi Survivor. Now, if you want a full breakdown of those, I already did a video on that, so make sure to click that after, after you watch this video. But there's some really cool new stances for your type of fighting style, and you get a blaster. Now, you might look at me and say, Zach, Jedis don't use blasters. However, um, remember, Cal's just trying to stay alive, so if he's gonna be packing heat, he's gonna be packing heat. And it wouldn't make too much sense for five years to have passed and him to have not gotten some better force abilities, so we will be seeing some new abilities. We've seen a few teasers for some of them. However, we know that we're gonna be seeing some new awesome tricks. People were also pretty worried in the beginning that we weren't gonna be seeing some of the returning characters. However, we can clearly see that our good pal Grease is alive and well, well enough. He is missing an arm. However, he greets Cal with a warm embrace in this trailer here. So obviously there's been some time passed since they've seen each other last, but it's always good to see our old companions. Also, for those of you guys who are worried that Marin wasn't gonna be making her way back, don't worry, she's here. And she probably plays likely a lot bigger role than she did in the last game. For those of you guys that don't remember, Marin is a night sister that ended up helping Cal out towards the end of Jedi Fallen Order and a bit of a love interest. Things might get a little steamy in Jedi Survivor. Not only is she in the game, however, it leads us to our next point that there are going to be companions that are going to fight alongside us in Jedi Survivor. And right now we can kind of speculate that there's at least two. Number one being Marin, and number two being a character, Bode Akuna. Bode Akuna is actually a mercenary that is around Cal's age and will be fighting alongside us as you can see some of these really cool action shots that they placed in this trailer for us. Bode Akuna is being described as like a brother to Cal and honestly, I don't know, I just have this gut feeling that something bad is going to happen either to him or from him, if you catch my drift. And if you don't think the power of new stances, new force abilities, new companions are enough to take on this threat, well, get ready for this one because we also have a new trick up our sleeve, and that is fast travel. The developers heard the complaints from the last game and the fact that fast travel wasn't really an option. They've added that into this game. They've also made the Mantis ports on the planets more centralized of a location so that when you go back to explore these areas again, it makes it a little bit simpler to go back. Finally, after the delays that we have seen, the release date for Jedi Survivor is April 28th. That's right, April 28th, it's coming up real fast. And whether you see this as unfortunate or not, this is a current gen experience only. So it's going to be on the new Xboxes, the new PlayStations, and PC. Let me know in the comments if there's something that I missed. Are you excited for Jedi Survivor? Are you picking it up day one? Make sure to let me know what your thoughts are. Here at the Lumberjack Gaming Channel, we are all about building a community of gamers that just want to share their passion together, to have a good time, to uplift each other. If that sounds like something that you want to be a part of, make sure to hit that subscribe button. And for all things Star Wars Jedi Survivor, make sure to check out these videos. 